Hello everybody and welcome. What is the first thing that comes into your head when you hear Asteroid? Is it a classic game? Is it one of the Hollywood disaster movies? Or do you ponder which of the millions of asteroids in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter I could talk about? Or maybe you think about how you could redirect an incoming asteroid in Kerbal Space Program to utilize it for science and profit? Well, last week was Asteroid Day, a yearly event designed to raise awareness for the dangers that asteroids pose to humanity. While Hollywood enjoys to exaggerate this into the absurd, the threat of a gigantic space rock crashing into Earth and wreaking havoc is in fact real. While in Kerbal Space Program asteroids tend to burn up in the atmosphere or crash into uninhabited terrain, because almost the entire planet is void of any civilization, a real asteroid could reduce a city to rubble in an instant. In fact, two years ago an asteroid dubbed 2019-OK flew dangerously close past Earth. It had the potential to bring destruction ranging from multiple times the atom bomb dropped on Hiroshima to something along the lines of the Tunguska event, an asteroid impact that leveled 2000 square kilometers of land in an instant. By the way, the date of the Tunguska event was June 30th, 1908, and it is no coincidence that Asteroid Day was set on the same day, June 30th. The frightening thing about 2019 OK it was only discovered a day before its flyby less than 75,000 kilometers away from Earth, which is just a fifth of the distance to the Moon. That is not just very close in astronomical terms, we almost missed it. And who knows how many of these potential city killers we weren't able to discover. Of course, there are multiple efforts on the way to watch out for these types of asteroids, one of which is ATLAS, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Loss Alert System on Hawaii. It has detected more than 600 asteroids since its inception, with about a tenth of those falling into the dangerous category. So let's assume humanity can detect a potential city killer in time. What can we do to prevent an impact? Well, there are multiple proposals on the table, some more probable than others. But one is actually going to be tested. It is called DART, which stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. This sounds very intriguing, but in the end the 500 kg spacecraft designed for this mission has just one goal. Crash itself into an asteroid at 6.6 km per second. The scientists hope that this will produce a measurable velocity change in the target. What's special about this is the target. It is called Didymos and it is in fact a binary asteroid system. One larger asteroid and one smaller asteroid orbiting it, hence the name Double Asteroid Redirection Test. The DART spacecraft is going to hit the smaller one, Didymos B, also called Dimorphos or sometimes Didymoon, which is approximately 160 meters in diameter, with the main asteroid being 780 meters. The mission is set to launch this year on November 24th, 2021 on a Falcon 9 rocket provided by SpaceX. To actually measure the change in orbit, not just by Dimorphos, but the entire binary asteroid system of Didymos, another mission will go out a few years later, this time planned and financed by ESA. The Hera spacecraft is set to launch on an Ariane 6 in 2024 and will observe the impact crater and measure the detailed changes in orbit of the asteroid. And no, this test will not result in Didymos crashing down on Earth by sending DART up there too fast or too slow. The scientists on this mission picked a target that's well outside of our path and nothing the spacecraft could do would put us in any asteroid impact related danger. In combination with the data that Hera will gather, Scientists want to find out if an impact like DART could change the trajectory of an asteroid in such a way that it will no longer come close to Earth. The idea is that the small initial change will have a bigger effect down the line. That's what HERA is intended to verify. Of course, this is an example of a sensible human approach how to deal with asteroids. Because there's also the Kerbal way. 
Me being me, I frown at those minuscule spacecraft and follow the creed of more boosters, or in this case, just more everything. I call this contraption the Roid Ball, and it is designed to do one thing. Capture an asteroid and mine it. Also have Kerbals fly around and have fun inside while studying it. Again. 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 Again.
there is actually some method to this madness. There were real-world plans to literally put an asteroid into a bag and carry it to a lunar orbit for further study. That was called the Asteroid Redirect Mission, but it died because American politicians wanted to put boots on the moon again instead of doing something that has never been done before. What do you think about this decision? Do you prefer NASA going back to the moon instead of bringing home stuff from interplanetary space? What do you think we could learn from asteroids that we bring to our sphere of influence and study them there? Coming back to Coral Space Program, I had this really ambitious plan to collect multiple asteroids and connect them into a very special kind of space station in orbit around the planet. But unfortunately, as is often the case these days, I did not have the time to fly that mission. Maybe I'll be able to do that until next year's asteroid day. And maybe I will remember to make a video in the actual week it takes place. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.